Good afternoon, Mr. Glee. I'm Batman. Batman has been around for a long time, like a really long time. He's been around since 19... 39 that's 87 years and so obviously he's had tons and tons of different versions and variations over the decades in live action alone there are 13 different batman that have donned the cowl at one point or another starting off with lewis wilson and robert lowry back in the 40s going through michael keaton and george clooney in the 80s and 90s and making it all the way to christian bale and robert pattinson in the 20 teens and 2020s and honestly if you can name all 13 batman right now i'll pin your comment in the comment section. But all these Batman are skilled in their own ways, but today we don't really care about skill. Because today we're breaking down the fighting style of the most fun Batman out there, the Adam West Batman. So let's find out what it takes to train like Bat West and learn some of his moves that we can actually do and practice right now in our backyards. Because it's yet another episode of Fight Like a Superhero. Entree, Batman. You fiends, you will rue this day. The only rue here is in the grave. <laughs> What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and a welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. And I feel like I'm wearing the wrong hat for this, so let's switch it up. There we go. Much better. And for those that don't know, the Fight Like a Superhero series is a series where I take your favorite characters from TVs, video game, movies, and anything else from media that I can find and break down their fighting style. Not only breaking it down and showing you how to train like them, but actually teaching you a move that they do in their style. And today is yet another Batman variation to add to the growing list thanks to the comment of Cade Stringer 2.0. And if you want to be the shout out of the next one, give me some suggestions down in the comments. Bat West was the the live action Batman from 1966 to 1968. The show definitely had a special flair to it that really just warms my heart. It showed bams and pows instead of impact frames because fight scenes and choreography was just a baby back then. They were just getting used to it. And basically everything they were doing was somewhat innovated in some way. And so it's really cool when you think about it because the technology they had and the film equipment they had then, they did some really cool things for the time. However, this does mean that Batman's fighting style in this series is probably going to be the easiest fighting style out of all of Batman to learn. And as a base, we're going to learn Shotokan Karate. Now, not really good karate, but karate nonetheless. And for those that don't know, karate or karate is an Okinawan martial art based primarily around striking. And I'm just going to let you know now. I'm gonna pronounce it karate because, well, I'm an evil American and I can barely speak English. It is what it is. But it focuses on kicking, punching, knees, and elbows. However, for Bat West, we're really only going to focus on the first two of those things, the kicking and punching. Batman does these aggressively telegraphed punches and kicks in pretty much every fight scene he has. This is primarily because of how fight scenes were choreographed back then. They would telegraph so it was easier to see what was coming for the actors. But it's what we got, so we gotta work with it. And maybe I'm wrong, but he really never uses any knees or elbows at all. And so uh, we're just gonna avoid using knees and elbows in our fighting style. And for kicks, he does them, but they're extremely limited. It's pretty much just front kicks, like entirely. Not once when I was re-watching his fight scenes did I notice him do a single round kick or side kick. Definitely no spinning kicks, just front kicks. So in our training today, it would be a shame if I didn't teach you guys how to do at least a front kick as well. And as for our defense, we're also gonna learn karate. Now, with the very, very few blocks he does, they are usually more rigid like the karate practitioners would show. And I'm pretty sure Shokan was the only art the actors were taught even a little bit. I can't find proof of that, but I'd bet money on it. If anyone can find proof of that, please let me know again down in the comments. But back to our defense, Batman uses more than just blocks. He uses dodges a lot. This is absolutely his favorite way of dealing with other attackers and I can't say I blame him. I mean, I tell my students all the time, the best defense, the best self-defense is to not be there. So we are going to focus on point sparring for our defense. This will teach us how to read people's tells and help us get faster at allowing us to uh, anticipate and dodge and evade attacks successfully. And lastly, you're gonna need to pick up some top tier dance moves. Like how can anyone compete with the absolute riz that is Bat West? Your name. Molly. You interest me strangely. 
and with like three weeks of training, you'll probably be fighting better than Bat West in no time. So I'm going to help you get started on that journey and give you something you can practice right now in your backyard. But before we get into that, here's a break from our sponsor. Hey, I just figured I'd let you guys know that there's new merch in the store. Like if you didn't even know I had a store, I have a merch store and there's new merch in it. So definitely go check it out. There might be something you like, there might not be, but you know, you never know until you know. So go check it out. Links down in the description. Okay, so let's learn how to do front kick. We're gonna take our back leg front kick for this tutorial specifically. Now, this is very common to do wrong in the sense that when a lot of people do a, a front kick, they don't realize there's two different kinds. There's pushing front kicks and there's snapping front kicks. We're gonna be doing pushing front kicks today because it's the safest and has the most uh, applicability, honestly, in my opinion, there at least. And Batman definitely uses this one the most. So. Uh, our pushing front kicks has the goal of pushing a person away from us. And I don't know if I said this, but I'm kind of sick right now, so if I sound kind of nasally, I'm sorry, that's why. But we're gonna be using our back leg. Starting off, taking our back leg, lifting our back leg knee up towards our opponent. So if our opponent's straight forward, you would lift that knee up, placing it towards your opponent as high as you can get it. The higher, the better. Then you're gonna face the bottom of your foot actually towards what you're attacking. You wanna try and uh, like point the bottom of your foot towards your target. That way you avoid hitting with your toes or anything like that. Because trust me, if you hit with your toes, it will suck. Like you don't want to break your toes. I've broken all of my fingers at least twice. I've broken some of my toes and it never gets better. So just trust me on this. You're going to want to kick with the bottom of your foot. So once we're here, our focus is going to be pushing straight forward. You don't want to, you want to avoid this swing, right? You don't want to swing your leg up. You want to push it straight out, just like so, pushing your hips forward for your power. One more time, lifting bottom of my foot, pushing it straight out, and my hips push with it because that's what gives it the power. Like it's one thing to just fire your leg, but when you really use your hips, it allows you to hit so much more power in your technique. Oh my gosh, this is so much heavier when I'm not feeling great. But, I'm wearing socks so this doesn't make it easier. But when you do your kick, if you just fire your leg, like you can get some impact, but it's not gonna be as good as if you use your hip, which can knock it over or knock someone back to keep you safe. So give it a try and let me know and comment down below if you have any questions. But let's go back into the studio because man, I can't breathe right now. Let's go. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. A special thanks to Cade Stringer 2.0 for the suggestion. I really do appreciate it. And it gave me a chance to, to reminisce on some old Bat West uh, fight scenes and stuff. If you have any different ideas, uh, definitely leave them down in the comments below. Until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this other Batman video or this other other Batman video. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pen Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to